YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, T. Back at it again with another episode of Talking With T. Let's get into it, let's get after it, man. In today's episode, we're going over confidence, why confidence is key, and three ways to upgrade your confidence. So let's get into it. Yeah. First and foremost, what is confidence? Confidence just comes from uh, belief in oneself that you can get the job done or whatever situation then you're in, it's gonna go the way you want it to go. This is something I struggled with for a majority of my life for the mo until two years ago, until I found confidence, I was lost. This is something that's changed my life dramatically and if you can find confidence in yourself, you can do a lot of things in this life. The first way to become more confident is let go of your limiting beliefs. Stop believing that you're not good enough for somebody. Stop believing that you're not good enough to do something. Stop believing that you're ugly. Stop believing that you're fat. Just get after and start doing things. Stop killing, start killing that be inner belief. The only way to change is if you start changing. The way to get your life to change is for you to start improving, right? So you by you start taking action, you're gonna start getting more confident in yourself and you gotta let go of the past. The past has happened, we cannot do anything about the past. So why? what's the point of holding on to something that's gonna prevent you from doing the things that you wanna do, right? You gotta let go of yourself and it comes from taking care of yourself, meditating, taking time to heal, forgive yourself, I forgive myself for all I've done wrong in the past. This way it gives me comfortability in my own skin. I didn't know any better than I did when I made that mistake in the past, right? You didn't either. So let's move on from it and let's grow from it. That's the only way to look at the past. It's there to teach us, it's there to learn from it. So let's move on to the next part of becoming more confident. This is something that I feel like a majority of people struggle with. This is something I still struggle with to this day is it's a marathon, not a sprint, it's a journey. So stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop comparing yourself to where you should be. Stop comparing yourself where you should be at. You're right where you need to be, and that's okay to accept that. So many people want to be a millionaire right now. So many people want to uh, go buy a bunch of things, and they start buying things that they can't afford, and they put themselves in debt because they're trying to impress so many other people, man. Get to that spot when you're able to get to that spot. You might have to put your head down and grind for a couple months, but that's okay. Just get back up and keep working towards it. Don't compare yourself to that person. That person has something that you don't have and you have something that that person may want. So relax, it's okay. And realize that you're on your own journey. You're on your own race. So keep pushing every single day. Every single day is a brand new day, a brand new opportunity to go get what you ever you wanted to do. Let go of the past and relax and stop comparing yourself to other people. If you need to get off social media for a couple of days, get off social media for a couple of days and figure it out what you wanna do, what you wanna accomplish out of life. And this is also gonna help you get more confidence because you're gonna be working towards a goal, working towards something that's bigger than you. So you gotta get out of your own head and stop, start realizing you're in the spot where you need to be right now and you can improve that situation right now if you want to. Let's get into the next part. The last thing that's gonna build your confidence is just going out and doing the things that you said you're gonna do. Because if you don't do that, you're kind of lying to yourself. If you tell yourself you're gonna get in shape and you're not doing anything to get in shape, you're lying to yourself and that's gonna cast a limiting belief on yourself and you're not gonna believe in yourself. And that's all confidence is, just a belief in oneself to get any situation done or go the way that you want it to go. That's what confidence is all about. That's what I tell people when they go into job interviews. Go in there like your like shit doesn't stink. Not like you're going in there like you're better than anybody, but just go in there with that belief in yourself that you're the man for the job and you're gonna tell them why you're the person for that job. You're not gonna tell them why you're not the person for that job. You're not gonna go in there nervous. You're not gonna go in there thinking that you're not gonna get the job. You're just gonna go in there and tell them yourself and you're gonna tell them confidently why you're the person for that job. You're the guy for that job or the, you're the girl for that job. That's all confidence is all about, man. And confidence just comes from getting it done. Just doing it. Like I said, if you wanted to get in shape, go for a walk around the block. Then the next day, go for two walk, uh, two, uh, go for walks, two for two blocks. The next day, three blocks. The next day, four blocks. Just keep building blocks and keep learning and improving. And that's what's gonna build confidence. Just getting after it and just getting the job done, day in and day out. Stop thinking about it and just do it and start believing in yourself. Because I know you are powerful. Then you, you you are more powerful than you think. You gotta realize that. And once you start taking control of your life, watch the confidence, watch this superpower come over you. And it is a superpower. You feel like you can do anything. And a lot of people start looking at you different because a lot of people aren't confident in themselves. It's your boy T signing out. I hope you guys have a great day.